Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be taking a look at the finished tank airdrop cargo plane. That's right, I said tank airdrop cargo plane. It's an extremely awesome build. So this build was started during a live stream, so as always guys, were you there in the live stream? Let me know down in the comments what did you think of it, because I had lots of fun building this with all of you. So in the video, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the plane to talk a little bit about the build and show you its features, and then we're going to take to the skies and start raining tanks. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right, so doing a quick walk around here, guys, let's take a quick look at the plane. Now, the first thing I'm going to mention about the plane is during the live stream, I started building it using the wing mod, and then after realizing that it wasn't really going to work with the purpose of dropping tanks out of the sky, I decided to get rid of the wing mod and actually use thruster flight. But nonetheless, I am extremely happy with the overall design of this build, and I gotta admit, guys, it is actually really difficult to build and design very large planes in Scrap Mechanic. I made this gigantic fuselage. Now this is a little bit of a lag monster because look at this guys. There are so many polygons. This entire fuselage is in fact made of polygons. So I decided to kind of sacrifice the polygons on the front of the plane here and I really do think it's a pretty good shape. I'm sure there are definitely some things I could do that are a little bit better than this, but I still think it looks pretty good. So back here we do have a switch that we can use right here. Now look at this guys, that opens the back of the plane and that is of course where the tanks are going to be dropping out of in the sky. So this rear hatch on the plane, it does allow for access to the tank, but it also allows for access right here. Now this of course guys is where all of the thrusters are for our flight. And right above it there we do have a seat so we can get into the seat just like this and hop up into the cargo bay area. But now before we actually do start exploring this plane a little bit, let's actually go through the front entrance. Now this is kind of funny guys, I don't have any doors. I really don't have any detail whatsoever on this plane because it is so laggy. You know what, I'll be honest guys, actually if we take a quick look here, there's no covers on the bottom of the landing gear and that's because even the covers on the landing gear was too much. But look at this here guys, we have a red block right here. Now that red block is your ticket in to the plane, so it's going to pop you in right here at the front of the cargo bay. So in this cargo bay, we have one tank stowed away at the moment right here, guys, ready to deploy. Now you can see what I've done is I have like a wheel track system here. We got some wheels on the side there, and we also have some more wheels on this side here. Now the entire tank is welded to these decouplers here and on this huge platform. So basically the platform is designed to roll along these wheels right here. Now if we go up on our little sidestep area here, we can go back here. Now this is a stabilizer built into this platform. So once it deploys out of the back of the plane and this sensor right here stops detecting the plane, uh, basically what's gonna happen is the parachutes deploy right here at the back. The stabilizer will kick in and then hopefully help it get all the way to the ground and of course guys the parachutes back here will deploy as well to slow it. Alright so now we're just gonna take a quick look in the cockpit here guys now like I mentioned there's no details whatsoever we can't have any details simply because having this tank inside alone is a little ridiculous because guys this entire tank is completely functioning. Now one thing that's really cool is once the tank gets on the ground if you go up here on the tank you'll see there's a switch right there so if you hit that switch it's going to open the hatch to the tank and what that's going to do as well is it's actually going to decouple the tank from the bottom platform here and it's also going to detach your parachutes as well so that you're ready to go and fight on the ground. Alright so here we go guys it is time for the first tank drop. Now what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna fly the plane from the front cockpit here but what I'm going to do for each run after that is I'm gonna put a seat on the bottom of the plane near the back so that way we have the best view of the tank dropping out. Now, now this is basically just going to be a run so we can appreciate flying the plane and then we're going to actually just appreciate the tank drops itself. Alright so I am activating the propellers. There they go guys. Now this is kind of funny but this plane is not your typical plane. It's actually going to be taking off vertically. Now obviously this wouldn't normally be the case but the reason why I have it set this way is because 
This is just such a laggy build, it's not really good for flying, and I mean, it's so big it's not even fun to fly in such a tiny little scrap mechanic world like this. So that's why I designed it to basically just be a straight flying plane. So here we go guys, we are going to start going forward now. So the controls are obviously very simple, we don't have to worry about too much like that. Alright, so we are cruising at a really good speed, so here we go guys, I'm gonna open up the buttons and switches, and let's see, we're gonna open up the back there, and here we go guys, this is going to be the first tank drop, let's see how it goes in three, two, one. All right, hold on a second actually guys. I realized I was about to drop this tank from way up in the sky. Now that's not what I wanna do. This time I wanna try and skim the ground and drop the tank that way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually do it the realistic way. So here we go guys, we are coming up to this huge plateau. I figured why not do it right there. Okay, I do see some trees, but we're just gonna go above the tree. All right, here we go. We're going over the plateau, and we're over it. Deploy the tank. Oh my goodness, I almost hit... I almost hit the tree. Okay, whoops. Alright, clearly, I have not received the proper training here, guys. Now, one thing I do love about this build is it is super easy to just respawn it into the world with a whole new tank ready to drop. Oh, and I almost forgot, guys, this is what the landing gear looks like. You can see we can actually bring it in and put it back out again. Like I said, though, there are no covers simply because of the lag. All right, so I've repositioned myself so that I have as much space on this plateau as possible for this tank drop. So here we go, guys. It is time to start going forward. All right, let's see. We are going towards the plateau. Let's go down. A little bit. All right, open up the cargo bay door. Here we go, guys. We're going over. Try and deploy the tank. There it goes. And it landed. Perfect. Oh, man, that looks so cool. All right, so that first run was pretty cool. But like I mentioned, guys, we're going to be doing the rest of these right here. I think, yeah, there it is. I've got a seat right here, and all of the buttons and switches are hooked up to it so that we have the best view possible when we're dropping this tank. All right, so here we go, guys. We are going to make our way to the plateau. We already have one tank there, so why not add another one? All right, so let's see here. I got to open up the doors. There we go. We're going to turn down just a little bit. All right, we are almost at the plateau. All right, here we go, guys, and drop it right now. There it goes. The tank has dropped. Oh, beautiful. The parachutes have deployed, and there it is, landing safely on the ground. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so I'm going to do one more run with this parachute setup, and then we're going to try the different parachute where we can drop it from high up above the ground. Now, on this run, though, I'm going to try and get as close to the ground at that plateau as possible, and we're going to try and just get that tank out. So here we go. It is time to start going forward. All right, now, I just want to make sure... We don't go up too high. All right, so let's open up the back here. Uh-oh, I can't see anymore. Okay, there we go. Let's get down nice and low, and here we go. Deploy the tank. Beautiful, look at that. And then the parachutes come out. Oh, man. It works so good. I love this build. So before I start changing up the parachute setup, I wanted to quickly come over to the plateau here and clean these tanks up, but I figured this was actually a good opportunity to show you guys what it's like to hit this switch right here. So like I mentioned guys, we have this tank. It is currently attached to this platform here with the decouplers. And we also have these parachutes back here that are hooked up with decouplers as well. So I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of a view here. All right, there we go. So once you press this switch though, boom, there we go. The parachutes, look at that. They have been completely removed and also the decouplers under there are removed as well. So now we can actually hop up in here and take a look here guys. We have that right there and Look at this. We are now a fully functioning tank. So the parachute setup is pretty simple to change on this tank here. So all you got to do, guys, is delete those ones right there. We'll get rid of those decouplers as well. So what I was thinking was I wanted to kind of do some type of corner parachute setup. So why don't we get on top of the tank like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our decouplers. I guess I can't really put them. Oh, can I put them? There we go. I can put one right here on this edge. So we're going to put one right there. And then we'll put one on this side like so as well. There we go. And then I'm going to put one on either side right here at the back. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pop a few of these parachutes on each corner of this tank. And then all we have to do is take these parachutes and connect them to this top logic gate right here. Now basically that logic gate is set so that once that sensor underneath it stops detecting the gray 
painted color of this surface here, it's basically going to send the signal to open those chutes. So hopefully what's going to happen, guys, is this whole platform is going to roll out the back of the plane, and then those parachutes are going to open, and we're going to see a really nice slow fall to the ground. All right, so we are set up for the four parachutes, one at each corner of the tank. So we're going to go up a little bit higher than we would if we were just kind of skimming the ground. I guess this is actually a lot higher. So here we go, though, guys. We're going to go forward like so. I think we're high up in the air enough. Yeah, most definitely. All right, so here we go. We're cruising along. I need to open up the gate. There we go. And in three... Actually, you know what? Let's try and land it on that plateau. You know what? So here we go. We're going to line it up. It's getting even closer, guys. Here we go in three, two, one. We're going to hit it. There goes the tank. The four parachutes. All right, let's actually... We're going to stop flying so we can actually watch this. Look at it go. It is slowly wobbling down to the ground. Did we get a good shot? Oh, wow, no. Okay, imagine if we were actually trying to sneak a tank in between the canyon. That would have been the perfect shot. All right, guys, so I'm going to be doing one more tank airdrop, and this one is going to be very, very special, and hopefully I'm going to actually be able to do it, because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get this thing up into the air. I'm going to go somewhere around here. I'm going to turn on our forward thrust and then quickly hop into this invisible driver block right here like this, and I'm hoping we're going to be able to slide out with the tank and go down to the ground with it. So I'm really excited to see if this is going to work, so let's try it out. Alright, here we are guys, we are up in the air, I think this is definitely high enough. So here we go, we're going to get out of this seat, oh boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. So there's the driver's seat for the tank, there is the accelerator, I'm going to try this out, oh no, I don't know if this is going to work. Hit that, hit the tank, there we go, okay. I'm in the tank. We are actually ready. Oh no, wait. I forgot to open the door. I'm gonna have to set up. I forgot to open the door. You gotta be kidding me. All right, here we go. This time it's for real, guys. I'm going to remember to open the door. There we go, because I just did it right now. All right, so we're gonna hop out of the seat. Oh man, okay, door is open. Gotta hit the switch and then get into the tank seat here. We go, hit that, get into the tank. There we go, we're in the tank. All right, here we go, guys. So the plane is flying forward. The door is open. All right, in three, two, one. Here we go. We have released. We're sliding out. And there we go. Oh, my goodness. The parachutes. All right, guys. This time, it is for realsies, I swear. So here we go. I'm going to open the cargo door. We're going to hop out. I have everything ready to go everything is set up for once okay except for this i forgot i need to actually clear that space okay here we go all right we're gonna hit that and hop into the tank just like that into the tank seat there we go okay we are in the tank seat everything is actually ready for once we are cruising along nobody is actually flying this plane guys look at this we've got an empty cockpit and here we go i guess this is probably as good of a place as any so we're gonna be dropping out with this tank in three two one here we go all right there it's rolling out it deployed all of the parachutes have released and okay whoa 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 we are wobbling around but look at this guys we are slowly descending to the ground i think it should be a relatively safe drop oh wow look at this boom there we go we now have a tank on the ground. All right, so next we have to hop out of the seat. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. All right, once you have successfully hopped out of the seat, all you gotta do, guys, is get over to the tank, and we're just going to hit that switch right there. There we go, guys. The parachutes have removed themselves. We're gonna hop into the seat, and look at this. We are now a tank ready for anything. And actually, wow, this is... This turned out to be a really interesting vantage point here, guys. We could have some pretty nice shots from up here. All right, guys, so that is going to be everything for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. Now, guys, if you did enjoy this build or the video, then be sure to hit that like button. And, guys, if you want to tune in for some more endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thanks again for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.